Hey guys, what's up? So this topic kind of sparked from multiple things. Um, I watch a lot of reviewers such as Sawyer Seven Mage, King of Lightning, and Zombie Zebra Manga, otherwise known as Luffy the Dragon Slayer. A lot of reviewers kind of just hate Obito now. They treat him like a joke, and you know they just make fun of the character. But uh. By defending certain chapters and saying people are treating the Naruto manga series like crap, I received multiple insults and just plain out hate. So this will be my attempt to defend Obito somewhat and fight back against those rude people. So first off, this is mainly on a King of Light on King of Lightning's Naruto 653 review video. So um, just go on the comments and you'll have to group you'll have to go down a little bit because it's, it's a little bit down there it's a little ways down there actually um so just go down there and once you see my name just keep going until you see like uh, my first comment and some guy actually it was two guys they were literally stalking the comments and replying to everyone it was it was weird i even left a comment talking about him and i didn't mention him but he replied to it that's creepy Seriously, this guy needs to get a life. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Also, a message to some of the reviewers. Why are you rebu reviewing this if all you do is complain? Like, I love watching all their videos, but if you're going to do... If they're going to do this and, like, hate on one character or the plot every week, it's more like a rant more than a review. Like, I remember when King of Lightning was dropping Fairy Tale, he said it was literally hurting him. That's when you know you're investing too much time into a series. That shouldn't even be happening. I don't even see how some pictures can affect you like that. But I, I don't know. But with all that out of the way, I'll go through my comments and explain my points. So someone was complaining about complaining that Naruto was going to be uh, it was going too slow, like baby steps. I said that it's a manga. Mangas go slow. Frankly, I'd like a series to go slowly. That's how more things can be explained. And you guys are reading this manga for free and you're complaining. You know, um, you're stealing and you're complaining about this. Because you can get this stuff officially, officially from Shonen Jump. It comes out every week. How many people actually do that? I, I don't know. Like, from the YouTube YouTubers I watch, the only one I know who actually gets the manga... Um, from Viz Media, I mean Shonen Jump, is the insane game freak. Other than that, I don't know anyone else who does that. And these people are getting it for free from Manga Stream. I don't even know how Manga Stream is still up because I know Manga Stream got in trouble for having the chapters up. I know they take they take them down like every three weeks or something. So I don't know if they have a deal with Shonen Jump or something. But I don't even know why Manga Stream is still available for us to use. Plus, the war isn't supposed to end in one chapter. People are complaining that the war needs to wrap up, it should be ended, and I'm just like, guys, calm down, it's not going to end in one chapter, that's stupid, and that's bad writing. And as much as people complain about the writing in the series, they're encouraging bad writing. Plus, um, this guy said he was going to drop Naruto. Don't drop something you've invested years into. That's what I learned from Zombie Zebra Manga. But this guy on King of Lightning's video then replied to me saying that nothing has happened um, in Naruto in the past 20 chapters. Another dumb thing to say. I then listed points such as Sasuke coming into the main battlefield. I believe that was 20 chapters ago. Um, Obito absorbing the Ten Tails and becoming like the second Sage of Six Paths. Um, we found out how Chakra was started. Gara got his tailed beast back. And it looks like Obito is about to die, slash be captured, slash be used by Madara. This video was made before this week's, not the video, this topic was created before um, this week's chapter. So, I just wanted to put that out there because some of that stuff happened this week. <laughs> um, I then said that One Piece takes baby steps. I think that's what really ticked people off and that's kind of what made them not leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm sorry, I messed up on my speech again. Um, I've watched a few arcs in One Piece, and it goes really slowly. I like it, but it's slow at points. 
Just in my eyes, One Piece is slower than it needs to be. Some things could be done more quickly. Then he complained about the Rin flashbacks, like most of the reviewers. And that's the main point of the arc. Why wouldn't it be shown? And there was only a small special on Kakashi, um, Minato, Obito, and Rin. Of course it would be going over the same material because that's all the development that the character has. A small flashback shouldn't really piss you off. But people are getting pissed off on this stuff. Um, let me just see. We have the Kakashi Gaiden flashback, and then we have what happened to Obito after he supposedly died or got, you know, trapped under those boulders, you know. Um, he gets that Zetsu half, and then it's like trained with, by Madara or like um, by Zetsu or something like that. And then, you know, we have the whole thing about him killing. Well, it wasn't him, it was Kakashi killing Ren, and Obito was going crazy. It was like a, a bloodbath, and that's all his development is. And actually, I think he, um, Kichimoto added a little bit more to the uh, the flashback, the Kakashi Gaiden thing. Um, some stuff about Ren, like, wanting to protect him, or something like that. I don't know. And I, I guess this term, Tard, is like someone who's like, really into the series and like will defend it no matter what or something kind of sounds like another word and that, that's not that's not cool to call someone that frankly you shouldn't be using that word in that way anyway but i got called a tard for defending the series and even said i even said that parts of naruto were bad naruto has good moments and it has bad moments but these guys are being very one-sided for one piece like nothing bad happens in one piece I, I don't know if I'll, uh, I might go into One Piece later, I'm not sure if I left notes on that, but whatever. And I wonder if all the people who hate on Naruto can actually write something better than it. I said this, this guy isn't saying he's a good writer, but he said he wrote a fan fiction that got good reviews, so he has the right to crit critique Naruto. What? And an anime is just the, uh, a compl compilation? Comp I don't know that word. It's just, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna make me sound stupid. It's just like a mix of, of chapters, you know. It's just a few chapters, and that's an anime episode. So it's basically the same thing. So by that logic, if I'm watching One Piece, I can still say that it's slow, because I'm pretty sure One Piece will be slow either way. If I read the manga or watch the anime, it's the same material, and not every episode's gonna have filler in it or something. Naruto, Naruto's anime just has a lot of fillers because it's way too close to the manga. Like, people are um, saying that Naruto, the anime should stop using fillers and everything, but if they stop using fillers, they're going to run through this material really fast because, you know, they're, they're in a war. It's mostly, it's a lot of action, so action doesn't really take that long to do in an anime episode, but, like, in the manga, it might take up two or three pages, and that's, like, a few a few seconds or a few minutes of an episode and comparing the naruto manga to the one piece anime uh they're both slow someone re so someone replied saying so what if one piece is slow that's a dumb thing to say the series will get boring if it's if it's slow of course i mean if you call naruto slow it's boring like if it's slow or you know just has like slow points or stupid stuff going on it's slow. If One Piece is slow, it's boring. Like, I've watched some of the episodes where they've had, like, flashbacks to different stuff, and I'm like, I don't care about this. It's kind of, like, it was kind of interesting, but it's kind of, it was like, ah, I really don't care about this. Let's just get to the main story. That's slow. And I, I, I can complain about that. Like, the thing I didn't like was, uh, the flashback with Nami's mom. Was that even her mom? I don't think that was her mom. I think she found those girls. So that's not even her mom. But um, the part where she gets like killed by um, what's his name, Arlong. Yeah, that was that was um, it was an interesting flashback, but it's kind of slow, and I, I really didn't care about it. Plus, the flashback. I think it took up like more than one episode. One Piece has like some long flashbacks too. I can't find the original comment for this part, but I think the guy was calling Kishimoto sexist or something. Um, he then went on to explain the useful and useful useless uh, females in the series. And Tintin is kinda the only useless one in my eyes. I mean, she never got that much development. 
she doesn't have uh, she doesn't have to get development, but it would have been nice. Sakura said uh, Sakura said she was on the level of Naruto and Sasuke, yet doesn't she doesn't show that. But the rest of the female characters have development and are somewhat strong and helpful. I mean, it's his series. He doesn't have to write it where the females are like the super strong characters or anything like that. Um, Naruto is the main character. Sasuke is his rival. We have the Hokages. These are strong people. Tsunade is a strong female, so there's one character. And I mean, Madara is just a strong person. There's no way, you know, Tsunade and Mai or Mei. I think it's Mei. Yeah, I don't think she can. Be they can beat Madara. So, and I mean, if you read the manga, you already know what happens. And uh, then the guy from earlier who complained about the chapters, he goes on to explain what happened in the previous chapters, and he pretty much confirms my point that not the same stuff happens. The way he just worded his comment, it was stupid. These guys are stupid. I'm sorry. They're just stupid. And I feel as if a lot of people find it easier to praise part one of Naruto, but they have nothing good to say about part two. And if so, it's very early um, like the the Gara rescue arc or whatever it's called uh, it's not called that I know it's not called that it's like when the Akatsuki like they first come in there you know you have Daidara and um, Gara fighting and then they try to go save Gara or it's about pain those are like some of the arcs I think people really like um, so yeah and Obito has kind of contradicted himself and become, he's became obsessed with this girl, Ren, from his past. But what's wrong with that? Like, he's the freaking reason for the Naruto series. You take away Obito and you have a completely different story. I said this before, the big re reviewers and stuff, but of course, Sawyer says it in his video and then everyone knows about it. My whole thing is that the character was written this way on purpose. That's the way I feel. If the character is meant to be this way intentionally, well, I don't even have to add intentionally. If the character is meant to be written this way, um, what are you angry about? Can you even be angry about something? I'm not in love with Obizo's character. I liked him better as a kid, but it has taken somewhat of an interesting turn. Him being taken in by Madara and being the reason for the entire series. It's just some random things have happened after him becoming the Sage of Six Paths, such as the DNA sword thing. Um, let's see if I have anything else to add on that. You know, as the character's contradicting himself, people are automatically saying that this is bad writing. Kishimoto, you are terrible. You should end art. I'm like, guys, calm down. If it's his series, what right do you have to judge it? Can you write anything better? And it's not a new thing that Naruto can talk people into doing things or giving up. And I agree with this one. Obito could have been different and died believing in his nonsense. Too many villains and allies have fallen for this, uh, I believe they call it the talk no, talk no Jutsu. I'm just playing. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> I just don't like all these fan-made terms. They, they sound kind of stupid. But the Talk No Jutsu. Um, yeah. I also like the point where um, where Naruto came in and he punched, like they're saying that Naruto can punch flashbacks into people now, and that's pretty cool. Like, I know it, it sounds like really stupid, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought that was funny too. But uh, someone came in and said that One Piece was slow. I'm glad someone agrees with me. He even said it was slow, and he's like 327 chapters in. Someone agrees with me. That's good. I'm not hating on One Piece. I like One Piece. I'm just trying to prove a point. The series is slow and no one bats a, bats an eye. One Piece can't have problems because it's a flawless series, right, guys? I'm just saying. But I'm almost done. Another argument brought to the table was that uh, certain side characters, or just the side characters, are useless. The person asked. Uh, what was the point of introducing them if they would be overshadowed by Naruto and Sasuke? Well, they're, they're all used in the story in one way or another. Most of them were a big part of part one. If you get rid of them, like just get rid of them in the war, just kill them all off, that's bad writing. He involved them in the war and he's doing good. I agree that they should. Um, some of them should be on the level or close to Naruto and Sasuke, though. Probably not Naruto, because he's he. Um, I think he almost has full control of the fox, or he has 
or he does have full control of the Fox now, and Sasuke has this, like, perfect Susano coming in, but I, I would like some of the characters to be on, be on their level, you know, we have Gara who's, I think he's gonna get his tailed beast back, so, why not give Gara uh, a power-up or something, make him strong like them, there were uh, times in like Naruto where certain characters said, "Hey, I, w I really want to fight that guy. I really want to get a rematch," and it never happened. There can't be rematches or matches between any of these characters because Naruto and Sasuke are way too strong now. Naruto and Sasuke would destroy them in a second. Naruto's like the fastest guy alive now. He's faster than Raikage, and I believe he's faster than his father. Um, and Sasuke is just dangerous. I mean, he has flames that don't go out. That's overpowered. But Kishimoto hasn't written himself into a corner. He could go places with the side characters. Lee hasn't used all the gates, and you guys already know if you watch like my Naruto discussions, I had a theory on this. Uh, you know, we could have Naruto fueling Lee with chakra, and then him using all the gates. But probably just him. I mean, Shikamaru's team has been helpful in the war, but the rest of the characters are kind of eh. Um, I think Shikamaru's like his team has been like the biggest part of the war like with the rookies so that's what I have to say on that I shouldn't even mention this idiot but he says that one because One Piece is slow it doesn't excuse Naruto from being slow that's true but if you're gonna go around praising the series One Piece you also have to talk about what's bad about it you can't just say everything in One Piece is good I'm a fan of One Piece and everything in One Piece is not good and I'm just saying, these guys are kind of lame. They're way too invested in the series to the point where they feel like they're the author or something. If something goes bad, they get mad about it. Uh, who keeps messaging me on Facebook? Uh, whatever. Just ignore that if you guys can hear that. But fans have gotten greedy. They're making themselves look like idiots. This series is bad. This series should have been written th this way. Just shut up and stop ruining it for everyone else. It's annoying. Fans just, just expect um, just expect things to happen and get pissed off when they don't. I'm sorry, but are you the author or something? Do you work at Shonen Jump? No. Then stop complaining like you're his freaking editor or something. I like Naruto. I like One Piece. Obito isn't as bad as people make him out to be. People are just acting like Naruto is downright terrible. It's not. That's all I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll probably be talking about uh, a message I got a while back about um, over a Naruto hater or something. Subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, whatever. Bye.